Good afternoon to you, Mark Sot of HurricaneTrack.com here with your hurricane outlook and discussion. This is the last day of June, June 30th, 2020. All right, about halfway through this very wacky and strange year. Uh, not a lot to talk about in the tropics today. Just one area we're going to watch. I mentioned this yesterday. A piece of energy that looks like it's going to come off the North American continent out over the ocean. Hey, we got some thunderstorms out the window here at the office. Um, better than the dog barking, I guess. Uh, so we'll be watching that. But otherwise, it's a nice, you know, quiet pattern as we start July. There are, as I mentioned in the last couple of days, some indications that as we move through July, we'll start to see a much busier period here off the coast of Africa, perhaps. But for the time being, in the next two days, nothing going on in the Atlantic Basin. Even in the eastern Pacific, still have not had a hurricane yet. This tropical depression 4E, E is for Eastern Pacific, uh, dying out. We can't get anything to develop and bring any moisture up into the desert southwest. Uh, so it's just kind of a dry pattern out that way. Kind of unusual for it to be so quiet in the Eastern Pacific. And usually when the Eastern Pacific is quiet, the Atlantic Basin will take over and become the dominant area. We haven't even had any typhoons as of late out on the West Pac either. So a very quiet pattern, kind of just waiting here for the Atlantic Basin, uh, probably going to take over in strong fashion, especially late August through September and October. But as for now, taking a look at the satellite animation, you know, there's not much out there, obviously. A lot more cloud cover and some convection. Uh, we see that out here uh, off the coast of Africa, one area. There's another area halfway between Africa and the Antilles. Another batch of clouds here. This is associated with an old frontal boundary, upper level low, convection in the Pacific. So there's more energy and upward motion and thunderstorms in the Atlantic Basin, but nothing that's coalescing uh, and you know on its way to becoming a tropical storm or anything like that, not even close. Um, there's this one area of vorticity right here. Uh, that we'll keep an eye on, but I doubt it's going to do anything. The Hurricane Center dropped the percentage for this to develop down to zero. This is going to move on off to the northeast anyway, so no big deal. We will be watching some energy that's going to kind of get together over here and eventually slip its way off the southeast coast over the next couple of days. We'll take a look at that now. In the GFS, this is the 12Z run for today, and I really want you to keep your eyes on Let's use blue here. Hey, there's some good thunder for you. Keep your eyes on this area over the next few days as I go through this and watch off the southeast coast here. Uh, what we're looking for are these little areas of energy. This area right here is an example. There's a tropical wave in there. Here's some energy that streams off of the mountains of uh, northwest Colombia and South America. Some energy out here over the Pacific, but nothing bundling it together yet. Everything's spread out. You can clearly see that. Everything is all stretched apart here. This is all lateral, uh, horizontal. This is, you know, large trough right off the coast here. Well, not large, but it's, the energy's not bundled. Uh, and that's the point here, at least not yet. Okay, so let's put this into motion frame by frame. So there's 24 hours out, 48 hours out, 72 hours out, we can start to see the makings right in here of this piece of energy over the southeast U.S. Arthur 2014 had its origins from uh, a continental system. Uh, Barry last year came down off of the continent and moved its, back, its way back over into Louisiana and other systems. Uh, so this is definitely a common uh, situation. It's not like it's rare. We do get this to happen. So if we move on out to 96 hours, and then finally by day five at 120 hours out, huh, GFS has this off the southeast coast, and water temperatures are warm enough. We know that. Uh, probably fairly favorable overall, just from what I'm seeing. And as the thunderstorm, I won't say rages, but it's definitely thundering and raining hard outside the office here. Anyway, uh, Day five into day six, it consolidates a little more. And look, it really can't just zip out to sea. Why? Because there's your high pressure area sitting out over the Atlantic, kind of blocking it. So it can't just come out this way. 
So we'll have to see, is there going to be enough ridging out here to have this closer to the coast? Maybe it comes back. I don't know. This is pretty far out in time. Uh, that six days, we'll just take it out to seven days and we'll see what happens. So by day seven, you know, fairly potent little system there sitting just southeast of Cape Lookout, Cape Hatteras in North Carolina. Uh, we'll see, you know, I mean, who knows? We've seen it before. And if this is a little closer to the coast or it gets its origin farther to the south and then moves up like that, I, who knows, right? That has happened before, though. So it's not like I'm just reaching. This will definitely be, ooh, that's going to be, I saw the lightning flash with that one. There you go. <laughs> All right. Probably time for me to finish this up anyway. So uh, that'll give us something to watch as we get into the first part of July. And then, like I mentioned, probably towards the mid part of the month, somewhere around there, um, looking out towards Africa, there's definitely some indications that this uptick in tropical wave activity will become more prevalent. So that's a couple of weeks out. In the near term, for the next five days, we do have something to watch. And I bet if this continues, and this just makes sense, that by tomorrow, I would say by tomorrow afternoon, if we continue to see this evolve in the modeling, the National Hurricane Center might issue one of those rare, put the yellow X over land, and then the development area out over the ocean. We've seen that before. I bet you, I don't know, I say there's probably a 20% chance, 30% chance they do that. I'm just making that up by tomorrow afternoon. I'm serious. Right? I got a hunch that that's coming if the model trends continue, which of course makes sense. You know, it's not like I'm seeing something that nobody else is, uh, and we'll see what happens with it. All right? All right. Well, enjoy your last day of June, and if you're in the Wilmington area, you can enjoy it with some thunderstorms. All right? I have Mark Suddeth as always. Hey, I am. Wow, it's raining hard now. Um, as always, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Don't forget I'm on Twitter, at Hurricane Track. If you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, um, it's all Hurricane Track everywhere. That's the brand. Also supported by our patrons on Patreon. Check it out. The link to that always in the description of these videos. And speaking of these videos, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. I'll be back with more for you tomorrow as we start the month of July.